What time is it? It's Bible tea time. In the beginning. Okay, let's pause right there and look at this in Hebrew. The Hebrew word for beginning is this word right here, bereshit. And remember, they read from right to left. So we will break down every letter together. So from right to left, this is the letter Beit, Resh, Aleph, Shin, Yod, and Tav, which spells Bereshit, which means beginning. The letter Beit, or B, means tent, and the letter Resh, or R, means the chief, the head chief. Together, B-R is read as bar, bar, and together it means sun. The letter Aleph is kind of like a vowel and it means Adonai. So we'll do a heart for God. The letter Shin means to destroy. So it's kind of like, looks like a claw. So that's how I remember it. This character means hand, the letter Yod. And this last character is Tav, which is T and it means cross or covenant. To summarize, Beit, Reish, Aleph, Shin, Yod, Tav, spell Bereshit, which means the beginning, and it's already forming a sentence. The Son of God destroyed by his own hand on the cross. But we're not done yet. Earlier, we discussed how Beit and Reish together is pronounced Bar, which means Son, so there are words within this word. Another one is Shin, Yod, and Tav together. It is read say it, but the English word is thorns. And if you want to look it up, the concordance number is H7898. Next, we have Resh, Aleph, and Shin, which is read as Rosh. And in English, it means head. So just to prove it, we've got Resh, Aleph, and Shin right there. The next word we're going to discuss is Barosh, which is spelled with a B, R, and Shin. So it's this except for Aleph. So this means tree, cypress tree, actually. These two together, the sheen and yod, means gift. And again, tav means cross or covenant. Okay, let's try to put this together. The son of God destroyed by his own hand on the cross with thorns on his head hung up on a tree as a gift of the covenant. Wait, so Jesus was in the beginning? Yes. In John 1, 1, what does it say? In the beginning was the Word. And who was the Word? The Word was God. The Word was with God. So since the very beginning, Jesus had always been there. 